Hello boyos, Rich Boy J here back in with another video and this is going to be a look at the newly revealed 75236 Duel on Starkiller base set. This set is due to be released alongside the April wave of Star Wars 2019 sets so while LEGO has already revealed the entire line of 20th anniversary sets for April we still have quite a few sets that are going to be released that aren't necessarily 20th anniversary right alongside those. This set's going to retail for $19.99 US dollars and it really is what the title says, a vignette of a Duel on Starkiller base between Rey and Kylo Ren. This set comes at a little bit of a surprise because we haven't really gotten a Force Awakens set in quite a while, which is weird to think about because it feels like all these Disney films are kind of grouped together, but we really are deep into the Disney regime of Star Wars films. But it's cool to see another one of these guys pop up. I do like the set. My favorite part of it is actually the new Kylo Ren figure. The fact that we're going to get um, kind of his battle damage scarred face is really nice. That's not going to be apparent in these pictures, but a leaked figure of him a while back showed that he does have that earlier scarring on his face and kind of a terrified look on his face as well so that'll be cool also on his leg print and torso print he's his clothes are a little bit tattered so that'll be a nice unique kylo figure on the other hand the ray figure and this is really my biggest problem with this set i don't know what has happened with this this ray figure um i'd be I wouldn't be surprised if there was some factory defect and there was just way too many of these guys produced because we've gotten so many of this figure in so many sets in this exact same form. No change of a facial expression, no added details to the torso, which really isn't even the correct color. I feel like her base color should not be the light gray, it should probably be tan. But honestly, all that I'm willing to live with if they would just give her dual molded arms. This is the main character of the new trilogy of Star Wars films and she still is not nearly as accurate as she could be because of those non-dual molded arms. I don't know what it's gonna take for them to release her in that form. I mean, I had high hopes for her coming out in the UCS Falcon. I figured that's a high value set. Why not throw that figure in there as a way to give us a premium updated figure and a high dollar set? Still no updates to her whatsoever, but that's a, that's a rant for another day. As for the build, I actually quite like it a lot. It's always nice to get a lot of those leaf pieces in a Lego set, especially a small one like this we get quite a few of those in green and white which I can definitely appreciate. I also can appreciate the fact that the bill splits in half to recreate the scene in the battle where they are drawn apart by the giant crater that is being formed in the ground below them and all in all I think this is just a really cool vignette. I can definitely see myself keeping this built because it's so small and just posing the two figures on there to display their duel on Starkiller base. So very small and effective set gets across what you'd like to get across and I actually do quite like it other than that whole ray figure fiasco but let me know what you guys think about this set are you excited for it is this one you're going to want to pick up are you as annoyed by the rain minifigure situation as i am definitely let me know in the comment section but that's going to finish up the video guys if you like what i do go ahead support the video by hitting the like button support the channel by smashing that subscribe button and i'll be back again very soon